What's up all you beautiful people out there? Marjack79 here and we are back today with another Dragon Ball Super Figure Accessory Review. Today we are taking a look at the Demonomical Fit, a transparent hair of Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta, the custom head sculpt set. Now I got this from eBay, from an eBay seller for around $35. Great price in my opinion. As you can see, uh, they got cool in box pictures of Goku and Vegeta right here who's showing you the uh, figures that they are compatible with looks like he's compatible with the uh, Saiyan born on earth and Goku the Super Saiyan awakening Goku and the uh, um, Cell Saga Vegeta so all right man so let's go ahead and take a closer look at the package here so we okay. got just the transparent hair version blah blah blah, blah. this is blue Goku Vegeta uh, I guess it's uh, the Japanese way how to spell it, I guess. The, I don't know why it's like Goku and Vegeta. It's odd. Uh, just the pictures of the characters here. Got a barcode from China. Ages for 15 and up. Scroll around here. Now, as you can see, the now this is exactly how I received it in the in the uh, mail, guys. So uh, yeah, but uh, China shipping was not very. Uh, uh, proficient is <laughs> the word that I would use. Yeah, man, that's pretty bad. Like, come, like, come on, dude, give me a, give me a break. She's the thing is, hopefully everything in there is is all is all right because they definitely did not give a care uh, to try to protect anything, uh, at least on the outside of the uh, box. And I usually like to keep all of my boxes too, but I'll probably end up just throwing this away because I mean it's just trash now. It's terrible. But alright, so we got some pictures of Goku here. Like it looks, looks like all the different accessory faces that he comes with. It's pretty cool. And Vegeta here. Looks good. I'll probably keep him with the smiling face there. And Goku with the with the stern face. We got the Goku parts. Blah 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 blah. Freeze that now if you want if, 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 if you want to read it. Uh, some assembly instructions. I mean just the same for SH figure arts. We got some caution, handle with care for 15 and up. Uh, small parts, blah blah blah. Alright man, so let's go ahead and crack this baby open and let's just see what we got inside. We'll be right back. Alright man, and we are back. We have our heads out of the package. So, we got the Goku head here, we got the Vegeta head here, and the extra accessories here. So let's just take a, a quick look at the heads here real quick just by themselves. So as you see, I got Goku with the stern face here with the uh, hair piece looks good man looks it looks it looks really good actually so gonna close up here in the light so, uh, a little bit of smudging there got kind of a little bit of crack at the exterior there so something to take note of it's a little ugly but it's not terrible by any means it's definitely not a deal breaker spinning back around here oh Vegeta no oh. but uh so I'm gonna look at him from the back here and as you can see he's got some more kind of crackling and breakage there so there's definitely something to take note of too so it's like somebody took a, an extra pen to or a knife and sculpted out too much lining or something man I don't know I don't know how that happened but I mean this is exactly how it was when I pulled him out of the package so yeah, definitely keep that in mind. I, I wonder if it's like if it's just mine or if it's like a a custom uh, or a customary issue with all of them. So, but I mean that's how that's how mine came. It might have something to do to do with the busted package that came, or it might not. So, all right, let's take a look at this Vegeta here. So, sorry, my big fingers in the way. So, I get a look at the face here. The face came out great. The face is really clear, as you can see. Looks the face, yeah, man. The face looks looks great. Now then we get to the hair. You got a little mark right there, as you can see, right there at the front uh, left hand portion. So again, then you got another crease here at the top in the middle strand of hair right here as, as well. So I'm gonna spin them around to the back here, and uh, you know, it's not, it's it's good, it's good enough, man. So you got some. Uh, another big mark there so definitely not the best cosmetically inclined pieces i would say for sure so you know definitely something to keep in mind here so um so let's take a look at 
the other faces that they come with. So you got the gritting teeth Goku here. You got the screaming Kamehameha face Goku. Then you got the yelling Vegeta. And then you got the stern face Vegeta as well. So so at least you definitely get a, a lot of options to uh, display your uh, faces with too as well. So... Alright man, so let's go on ahead and bring up the figures that I'm definitely going to be using these for and we will be right back. Alright folks, and now we are back. We have our new the new hotness versus the uh old and dusty here. And looking at these side by side, uh definitely justifies the thirty-five dollar purchase for these uh for these heads. One hundred and 10% man uh, it's not even a competition dude just look at that compared to that and man talk about dropping the ball as his figures good gosh man how why what how, how? <laughs> it is insane how much better that looks compared to the original SS blue Goku head man that's crazy Wow, yeah, that is definitely anime accurate. I would say. Or that one, you look at it, it's like, yeah, not so, not so much, dude. And then the Vegeta, oh man, dude, gosh. I mean, it's not even, it's not even close. It's not even close. This looks ten times better than the original Vegeta, the SS Blue Vegeta. I mean, man, don't. Do don't get me wrong. I'm I'm happy to uh, have these two in my collection for sure. You know they're part they're a part of Dragon Ball Super history. You know I'm glad that I, I, I'm glad to have them. They always hold a special place in my collector's heart. But these two are definitely my main go tos now when it comes to the uh, SS Blue versions of Goku and uh, Vegeta. And I know that they just released the uh, Super Saiyan Blue Ultra version of. Vegeta as well, so I'm probably gonna end up picking that up as well. When and I know there, it's in the works for them to make an ultra, a master and ultra instinct Goku as well. So definitely probably going to take that and put that on the Awakening Super Saiyan Goku. So I think that's going to work out perfectly. Yeah, man, I'm super excited, super excited. So yeah, man, but yeah, it's cr but just the gloss and the color, it's crazy how much how much better it looks, man. Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, just the 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 weird uh, color patterning for the original SS Blue Vegeta is just is just off. His his Super Saiyan Blue hair coloring was never that. Uh, yeah, but this one uh, on the uh, Cell Saga Vegeta is just spot on, dude. spot on. So, I mean, it's sad that I had to sacrifice my super saiyan or my original super saiyan head for vegeta to put it on this one but luckily i still have the premium color super saiyan vegeta too but sooner or later since the vegetas are still readily in stock i'm probably just going to end up getting another uh super saiyan vegeta to uh, add back to my dbz uh, shelf to replace the uh, premium uh super saiyan vegeta again so but yeah, man. But definitely, uh, and I'm considering getting another uh, Saiyan uh, born and raised on Earth Goku too. And I and I might actually put the Ultra Instinct uh, head, uh, Goku head on, on that one uh, too. So, because I just I love this design of Goku, man. It's one. It's probably it's probably my favorite. This is the design that I grew up with, and this and I'm also happy to have this figure because this is the look that he's going to have in the movie as well. This is the look that they're both gonna have in the new Broly movie that's coming out too. So that's a, that's another main reason why I was so inclined on getting these two versions of these characters in my collection. I had to have it, man, for sure. All right, man. Uh, so, like I said, this uh, set was thirty-five dollars on eBay, from what I found. I mean, other than the packaging being messed up and just a few nicks and crannies here and there, these are these are must-haves, man. These are absolute must-haves, uh, especially if you uh, don't have the absurd. Uh, pricing that the SS Blue, the the original SS Blue Goku is going for now on eBay. It's crazy. I think it's going for like 175 or so. Nope, don't do that. So get you to find yourself a Saiyan born and raised on Earth Goku and get this head. Boom. There's your. This is the uh, 
Super Saiyan Blue Goku that you want to put on your display shelf in your collection. I promise. And you know, you're just going to have to drop the bar and get yourself an extra Vegeta if you don't have a premium color Vegeta. So you can add this Super Saiyan Blue head Vegeta to your figure as well because they are must haves, man. Look at that. Just look at him, man. It's crazy. Hey, and I completely forgot to mention, um, this Goku head is it can definitely fit on this Goku body as well. So you definitely have that option. And then it can also fit on the uh, Super Saiyan Awakening Goku as well, as you can see it in the uh, packaging here. And then with the Vegeta head here, this is really the only uh, Vegeta body that this can fit on. I tried to fit it on the premium version of Vegeta, but it would not fit. It was too loose very very sad so uh yeah so that's why i was my, i was mentioning you just if you want to still uh, keep your super saiyan vegeta you're just gonna have to get another body for uh the vegeta so so all right man so as always i uh, appreciate everybody watching to the end of the video if you like what you saw do me a favor go ahead and hit that like button i really appreciate it if you want to see more dragon ball z videos on the channel dragon ball super or dragon ball there is plenty of content to be found you can follow me at youtube.com slash smartjack 79 facebook and facebook.com slash smartjack 79 and if you go to the playlist on uh, dragon ball z that's where you find all of my dragon ball content i will post that link in the in the description and also you can follow me on twitter and instagram too at marjack at marjack 79 so now if you stayed to the end of the video i have a special little announcement coming up in just a second but if you choose to click off the video now as always i will see you guys on the next one and i will catch you guys later bye Alrighty guys, so as a bonus, I'm taking y'all down to the collection room to give y'all an updated look of what the collection of figures from DBZ looks like now. So we got the dynamical fit Goku and Vegeta up at the top there. And I forgot that I had a uh, Santa armored trunks as well. So what I did was I took the Super Saiyan Vegeta head and I took the uh, Saiyan armored trunks head off of it. And I just put the Vegeta head on top of that. So it's like I actually had to sacrifice my uh, Saiyan armored trunks. And I brought the uh, sword trunks back in to the front of the the display so so and then I actually tried to put this uh, trunks head here onto the premium the Vegeta but it, it does not but it does not fit unfortunately so yeah so yeah the uh, sand armored trunks head does not fit on top of the premium v uh, colored v Vegeta nor does the uh, demonomical uh, Super Saiyan blue uh, blue head so so the next uh, DBZ figures that are coming is going to be the uh, Master Roshi and the Boo. Pretty sure that's next. So whenever the uh, U.S. versions of the figures come out, that's when I will get them. I already have them pre-ordered. You know, just waiting on them to come out. And then I will provide uh, reviews for them. And I'm still hunting for the uh, Dragon Stars, the uh, Kale Ken Blue Goku, and the um, Gohan and the uh, Golden Freezer too, so I can uh, complete the Kale. So, all right, man. So, as always, I uh, appreciate everybody for watching. Oh, yeah, one more thing, too. Here's a this is where I put the uh, the old school SS Blue Goku and Vegeta, too. So, but uh, definitely when uh, Demonomico makes an Ultra Instinct Goku head, it's going to go on that figure right there. So, for sure. But, all right, man. So, now let's go ahead and end the video here, guys. So, as always, appreciate everybody watching. And until then, I will see you on the next one. I'll catch you later. Bye.